All right. Christian Hanna Horror. Let me try to save the trouble and see if I actually have audio. Sydney! While y'all are coming in, let me make sure all this is working. Sydney usually pulls it up on her phone and makes sure. So one second, one second. Sydney! That's a first. All right! We is live, baby! Christian, oh, we are live! Enjoy this. It's going to be the last one ever. No, I'm kidding. It's not going to be the last one ever. But hey, look at this. I've actually got my drink. Monster energy all day, every day. Ah. Now to find a comment section. This is live with Christian and Horror where we talk together. This isn't where I just talk and you drop comments and I ignore them. We talk together. We discuss horror movies. We discuss what's going on. We discuss whatever you guys want to talk about. And that's the beauty of the Christian Hanna Horror live stream is that we go where no YouTuber has gone before. And that is, I don't know. Okay, so let me now try to find videos. Here we go. I think I got this. Here we go. Matt the Collector, how are you there? Rob Mulder, what's up, buddy? Sydney, stop yelling. Count Von Strange, hey, what's going on? Surf 17 up, looking forward to the It remake. You are... Um, I just saw today that Dark Side Studios actually... Um, Dark Side Studios actually made their own version of the mask for sale, and I think he had to change certain things to avoid copyright that out there if you can find it and it looks you know it looks pretty cool um so i i like it but um i'm very excited i think it's going to be great as you guys can see there's the uh phantasm bust matt do not take sydney's side you take my side count Von strange says i think everyone is ready for the it remake i just hope it isn't a huge letdown i don't think it will be i think it's going to be like a stranger things version of of it um the kids look reminiscent. Cindy could probably comment if she's still watching. Is it true that one of the kids from Stranger Things is in the It remake as well? Um, Horrorhound85, he is skeptical. And I don't blame you. I really don't. But you know what? We're going to hope for the best. Um, what is everybody watching tonight? Is anybody watching a good horror movie right now? He is playing Richie from Count Von Strange. Okay, thank you. It's going to be good. Y'all need to chill out. Um, Matt says, uh, are you a fan of the Scream TV series? I was just kidding. I'm always on your side. Yeah, um, I was a fan of the first two seasons. I, I think there was a third one. I, I don't remember if there was. I, I didn't watch it. Um, but I was I was enjoying what we, what we had. Count says he's been watching live streams on YouTube. Uh, I've never like live ho watching horror live shit like like movies or is it like like what I'm doing or, or what? Um, thought it, you know what? Let's just let's check this out, guys. Has, does anybody remember this? Uh, this book came out a while ago, and I was looking at it earlier. This was the uh, John Carpenter, um, the the photographs of Kim Gottlieb Walker, and um, I never finished this. I think I actually bookmarked where I was. Ooh, look at this. This is actually right where I was, and this was, um, you know, in Halloween, right there, and uh, some really cool photos. Look at that. That's Christine. Good photographs. Um, um, <clears throat> I forgot what I was going to say. Uh... Okay, let's see who we got. Surf's Up says um, he was watching Nightmare 2 earlier. He says it's always, he agrees with me. It's always been my favorite. It's good. Um, <laughs> Matt, the collector's watching season two of Scream when Netflix third one comes up. Yeah, I am caught up with the show then. Count says, uh, like my show and also at Laura's Looney Bin, she has a Ladies of Horror live stream happening. That sounds hot. 
Does anybody drink these right here? This is the Monster Energy uh, Ultra Red. It's actually zero calories. I don't think that'll focus. This is a, a webcam, so I can't make it focus. This is zero calories and everything. Mike's Horror Corner. I'm going to raise my glass to you, Mike. I was just, uh, Mike, if you're listening still, you might have already bailed out. Um, Mike, this is a anything goes chat. We uh, we all just talk about whatever. I don't just talk and ignore comments. You drop a comment, we'll talk about what you want to say. You know, it's all good. Um, I got the same book. Matt says he's got a book more or two, or two signed from the author. I love that book. It is a good book. The, the photographs are really cool. Um, one thing I'll show y'all while we're waiting for more people to comment is this. Check this out. This is my autograph book right here, and um. The back side, that's like a Return of the Living Dead uh, clipping with people from me. These are autographs that I have that I just really don't have have any spot for. Let's look at these. Um, the Hitchhiker from uh, Texas Chainsaw. And um, we also have Robert England from 2002. It's pretty cool, huh? Next, we have an awesome autograph from Tom Savini. I like that a lot. I like that picture a lot. Uh, let's see. That's another hitchhiker autograph. We see him every year, so we usually just get autographs from him. This is kind of a sad story right here. Okay, so that is not Michael Fox's autograph. That is the father of Michael Fox, James something, and he has Parkinson's as well, so that was really a shame. Um, There's Doug Bradley's autograph. Uh... <clears throat> Rob says he's going to a convention tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll find Horror Neck of Sam there. Hopefully, you will. I hope so. I'll be rooting for you. Real quick, guys. We'll finish that. That's another hitchhiker. <laughs> Got like four of them. We see them and just we like them a lot, so we get stuff from them. I uh, don't know what that is. It's not really cool. That is, that is uh, speaking of Nightmare Part 2, that is an autograph of the the uh, the gym teacher who was, who was really nice. So... And this was a uh, horror block deal, the twins. Why was I not so? I'm not. Ex I wasn't excited about that as I should be. I guess is that bad? I just didn't care. Uh, so what else is going on in the world of horror? I don't know. Real quick, um, is there anything you guys see that you want me to grab and get a closer look at, or anything? Um. Don't know specifically what you guys would want to see, but if you want to see anything, I'll grab it over here. You want me to look, grab whatever. Have any questions? I get a lot of questions about stuff, and you know, this is years and years of collecting. Actually, a lot of stuff that wasn't like I really like. We talked about. I tried to high end the horror room. If it wasn't really nice, or if it wasn't, if it was kind of junky or just fun. It I got it hit. It hit the closet. I'm trying to make this horror room just nice and and. This camera really doesn't do it justice. It looks really nice in person. As far as the phantasm, as far as the phantasm goes, um, I'm gonna try to get a floating shelf for that above the the uh, tar van. Uh, I'm gonna work on that tomorrow. It was raining outside, so I didn't want to go out to my shed to build the shelf for it or anything because uh, I needed to, I needed to spray paint it black and everything. And it's just gonna get messed up because of the rain, so I'll hold off on that. Mike, Mike's Horror Corner says the new Tall Man bus is so sick, sick, can't stop looking at it. Here, hold on. It's it's pretty gorgeous, dude. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty uh look at that. Look how real that looks. Look at that. The hair is really, you know, he's got highlights. But look how straight it is, like, because Angus's hair was really straight in the movie. And this is like a real, like, like it's like a real suit that he used, so. But uh, look at that face. I shouldn't be doing this because this is a very expensive piece. But, um, look at that. All right, I got more, I got more detail, uh, excuse me, I got more comments. Let me put this up and then I'll come back. All right. He's like in real life, guys. Like he's really creepy to look at because his face—he's got acrylic eyes, and his eyes legit like they look at you when you—if you stand in front of him. 
oh, his eyes, like, they legit, the guy, Mike, who made him, legit got his eyes to look at you when you actually uh, stand in front of him. So, okay, let me see. Um, Max Tello says that I should make a new horror room with more things. I guess, he, do you not like mine, or do I just need to have two? Because, Christian, do you ever buy from Sideshow? No, not because I haven't, just because. Not because I don't want to, I just, I haven't. Um, I've just never gotten the chance to look into getting anything from them. But, I mean, as far as work goes, I actually, uh, the Jasons that I got from that guy a while back when I did that vlog of getting them, he had Sideshow Collectibles, and I was floored. Um, it really was cool. Um, thanks, Mike. It is a great piece. I love the tall man. It's a great piece. It, like I said, when you see it from here, it doesn't know justice, but in, in person, oh, it's creepy because his eyes, they, they look right at you. The way Mike from Creation X put them in, Mike is a fantastic artist. He did he did that. So, <clears throat> Okay, let me see where we were. Um, Christian, do you collect horror Funko, Funko Pops? Very, very seldomly. It's got to just really be something I want. I don't just get horror ones like we got the Twin Peaks couple from them um because we like the show i got the pennywise it on the table stuff like that but i don't i don't usually just get them to get them max says i should just have two rooms i get that um um matt's the collector says can you show off the pages to the horror magazine with jason from the friday the 13th film it has a green cover with an up close look of Jason, I believe it's a video guide. Yeah, I have that brother, but I really don't. I really don't know where it is. I think I have what you're talking about, Matt, but I don't remember where it's at. Look, see, I've got this one. I've got Slaughterhouse Magazine. You know. I've got that, but that's not what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about, brother, but I think it's in a closet somewhere. And I, oh, I'll have to dig that out soon. I'll, I'll show you. I can get with you personally and show you that, buddy. Um, at my city just cleaned the horror room and vacuumed and everything, so I don't want to. I don't want to mess it up too bad. Um, Theo asks, "What do you think about a h a American Horror Story filming in the original Halloween location?" I think that's cool. I think that's awesome. What they do, uh, Michael Voorhees fan, nineteen eighty two says, "Hey, Christian. Hey, Michael Voorhees fan. I don't know if I've ever had you in one of my live chats. Just we, we talk about we talk. So jump in with us, and we'll just talk about whatever. Um, bring up a topic, um, what what have you, and we, we all just get together. And we talk. So here's to y'all. Thanks for jumping in. On I never I never plan these. It's always just like I'm going live. Max says, "Can you show?" Can you show the life-size Chucky doll? No, I can't. That's one thing I'm not messing with. I'm kidding. Hold on. Nobody else would do this, y'all. This is an expensive-ass Chucky. You ever notice that? It seems like people who have Chucky dolls, they're either impossible to talk to, and they don't want to talk about their Chuckies. Is it just me, or does it seem like that? Hold on. Let me grab him. All right, now I'm going to be very careful with him, guys. All right, this is my uh, my life-size Chucky. He's creepy looking. This is based off of pa Child's Play Part 2. Um, he's got a really sturdy head. Hold on, let me get him situated. He is based off of Child's Play Part 2, specifically the scene where he's beating the hell out of the teacher with the uh, ruler. So... That's uh, that's my Chucky. This was handmade clothes, or the, the fabric was bought and everything. And, you know, it looks just like the movie. And it's about the same size as a real Chucky doll. Um, CJ, hello. Hello to you, too, CJ. Max says, love your channel. Subscribe for almost a year. Thank you. And Count says, that's creepy as shit. Here, he'll, I'll get him up close to y'all. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Horrorhound says, who made your tar man? I think I've asked before, but I can't remember. Ooh, that's a tough one because I don't think the guy is... I want to say 
Horror Hound, um, do me a favor, Horror Hound. Um, look up on Google Raging Zombie Studios. For some reason, I want to say that was it, but I cannot remember. But for some reason, that is popping into my mind. Do that for me real quick. Look that up. And, and uh, Mike says that is so awesome. It's it's too bad. Life-size Chuckies are so damn expensive. I was lucky enough to get with a buddy who was able to basically, I paid for, I paid for the parts to get this made. Um, so I don't want to, uh, you know, you're not going to get it for what I paid for. I paid a couple hundred, well, maybe a little more than that. Some odd couple hundred dollars for this, but they retail from him for about $1,800, you know, because this is months of work to do. And that's his, this is, this is what this guy does for a living now. He's an, in, he's a, out in the UK. His name is Andy, which is funny. So, but I think mine was the best one he ever made. I really do. So, I'm going to check you. Anything else, y'all let me know. All right, give me a second, y'all. Let me set him back up on his stand because uh, I got to get him situated. He's got a little hook on his leg that goes into the base. So let me find that. All right. One second. It's kind of hard to get it in. Got it. Got it. All right. Okay, let's see. Matt says he loves Chucky. Chucky rules. He got a signed poster from the guy who did the artwork for the Scream Factory release. That's cool. You like autographs, Matt. Um, do you have the Freddy Krueger mask? From Max Teller, you should do more live streams. Yeah. Well, I've got a couple Freddy Krueger masks. I've got... I can't pick him up. I'm sorry. I really can't pick him up because if I do, I'll never get him to sit back down. Um, I've got a mask from Creeping Death Productions, and I have uh, a NECA. This thing actually, this is like ugly, but uh, hold on. Let me read a couple more comments. You, you should do more live streams. Well, I'm trying to. I really do. Trick or, this is from Mike's Horror's Corner. Um, have you heard Trick or Treat Studios is making a life-size Chucky doll? Uh, supposedly it's coming out next year. Yeah. Um, I think that'd be cool, especially for a lot of people that aren't lucky enough, you know, I'm not bragging like, cause it's, it's pure luck that I just happen to make friends with somebody who could, who could hook me up with mom. But it's, 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 it'd be really good for people who just don't know somebody who can say, okay, Hey, pay me for this, pay me for this. And I'll hook you up with the deal. I'll make you this Chucky, you know, that, you know, I'd lucked out with that. So. For some of y'all that like really like Mike, for instance, or Count Von Strange, that y'all really like Chucky dolls and want one, but you can't afford to spend. Who can afford? Who can really afford to spend? You know, over a thousand dollars for for to get a Chucky doll. We all want one bad. It's like the holy grail of a, like a horror collection. But you know, we're just we can't all just spend that kind of money. We're not made of money. We're all working class people. So I hope they I hope the trick or treat does make it, and I hope they do a good job. There was talk a while back about Devil's Lake Tech doing one, but they never they never did do it, see it. Count says you should do a live stream with a horror panel. Um, do it. I don't really I don't really talk to many, much people. Mike is one of the only people like on that is a a horror YouTuber that I I've really talked to. Not because I don't. I don't, I'm, I got, I'm, I battle all these guys and I don't want to be part of anything. I just, I just make videos and I'll talk to y'all. It's like, um, I don't really socialize or, or, or what's the word I'm looking for? Or, um, I don't try, I don't try to be parts of stuff. I just kind of, I kind of, uh, just come on here cause I love horror and I love talking to y'all that come to my channel and I'll watch you, who, whoever talks to me stuff. I'll check out all y'all's channel. Mike has a killer collection. He just posted some pictures. I think of his, of his collection and it's beautiful setup. Beautiful. His setup is, is so, I wish I had a nice setup like his. Um, can I see your part six, Jason hockey masks? Um, do you want to see, I have a, um, I'll adjust this camera so you can see this. Well, y'all, be ready. You're going for a ride. 
I have that part six. Do you want to see that or just the hockey mask? Let me know what you want to. Uh, let me know what you want to see, and I'll and I'll get it. That's a shame, horror hound. I was right. I thought it, Raging Zombie sounded familiar when I said it to myself. Um, sadly, I think he he no longer makes them. Great piece. Yeah, it is a shame that he does not make them no more. Um, seems like a lot of people. Uh, seems like a lot of his companies just go under. It's a shame. Callant says, I think it would be fun to do a live stream with you and a few other people. Mike's mask collection is top match. It is. And I would love to do one. Count you, you and me should do one. Horror Bro 1990. Hello. Hello, man. I don't know if I've ever uh, heard from you before. So, uh, welcome to the live. And this live stream, dude, you just say whatever and we just talk. It's as simple as that. You know, it's not going to be me just talking and y'all comment and I don't even reply to it. We just talk, you know, whatever y'all want to talk about. I might bring up a just, I might bring up a question for y'all. I love, I love finding out your guys' thoughts on stuff. All right. Just the Hawks. Okay, let me read these couple more. Uh, Michael, uh, CJ Muno says, do you have the NECA Super Freddy? I do. Okay, you guys ready to go for another ride? Here we go. Hopefully I don't disconnect, y'all. Okay, look right there. There's the Super Freddy. You see it? Uh, Cindy, if she's watching that, y'all, Cindy made, got, made that happen for me. Um, I am not from uh, San Diego, so we didn't go to that. But uh, she knew that's my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street, besides part two, part two, and then part five. Um, Horror Hound says, I just got the Trick or Treat Studios 1 1 Gremlin in a couple days ago. I didn't know they released that already. He's pretty wicked. I have an unboxing vid, I'll definitely check that out. I've got the uh, the neck of brain Gremlin, um, it's pretty cool. But as you can see through right there, the little puppets were awesome. But I bet that 1 1 you got it. I bet you know, Trick or Treat is like. Treat is its higher end, but with a lower end price. I mean, it's it's not cheap stuff, but it's not like it's not okay. I'm gonna be eating ramen noodles next month, kind of. But you know, they do a great job. They do a really great job. Um, Horror Hound 1990. Have you heard of Alien 2 on Earth from 1980? Very obscure. I have not. Okay, I don't want to be rude. Uh, for Michael Voorhees fan. Um, let me show him something real quick. Let me get this down. You guys got me running and jumping all over. Um, Michael Voorhees fan, I'm just going to let you know now. I can't give you any information about this mask at all. But this is my hockey mask for Friday the 13th Part 6. Like I said, I'm sorry, no information. There's nothing on the inside. It's a sturdy mask. But that's it. Uh, real quick, I just saw a comment from Mike. Oh, hey man, we want more Dead by Daylight. It's it's Dead by Dawn, the name of the band. We are releasing our EP. This is me first making this announcement. We are releasing the Dead by Dawn EP very soon. It'll be a five, uh, four or five song EP. And it's going to be great. It'll be self-titled. We'll have it on iTunes and everything. Okay, let me put this up and I'll be back. Like I said, I was kidding. If you guys want me to show you anything, please let me know and I'll get it. All right, one second. Let me stick this back on. Okay. All right, here we go. Um, Count says, let me go back like this. First off, uh, Max Tillo says, I wish I could be like you. No, you don't. Max, I want you to be you. You're the best you. You're the best you that you could be, okay? Count says the Necker Retro figures display fantastic. They, they really do. Once again, look at these guys. Look at that. You know, look how cool those look. I love them. Going for a ride. Y'all hang on. They, they really do look great, you know. Rob Mulder. Body from Spirit Halloween. That is, okay, here's what this is. Main costume piece, that is from Trick or Treat Studios. The gloves are from eBay for $7. The clown shoes are from Amazon for like $6. Uh, 
the mask is from Creation X, and that the neck tassel piece came with it from Creation X. So that's how I made that happen. Um, Matt the Collector, that's badass. Thank you. Max Teller says, where do you shop for your horror movies? Amazon uh, and FYE. That's really the only two places I ever buy movies. Really. Um, Michael Voorhees fan. Excuse us, thanks for showing. No problem. Mike says, oh shit, my uh, uh, It's no problem, man. Don't worry about it. Um, just thank Evil Dead 2. You know, um, oh shit, my bad. Can't wait, man. The first song you guys put up was amazing. Truthfully, it was okay. You know, we, we, we uh, wish we could have a little bit more time to put on it. The, the EP is going to be a lot better. I can promise you that it's going to be very good. Um, I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm very happy with how it's coming out. And we do, we start, we go back in the studio this weekend to do vocals, and it's going to be great. Okay, Horror Bro 1990. And if anybody, I'm seeing a few more viewers come in, guys. This is a all discussion. You guys talk to me, and we talk back. Um, it's not me talking, and no, I just ignore y'all. No, we talk together. Um, Horror Bro 1990 says, love the Myers Max. Having you show up. Y'all want to go for another ride? Here we go. Okay, let's take a look yeah. at the Myers Masks up there. I hope this camera suffices, you know. Do you guys like that setup? Because I thought about putting those little mini posters back there, and I thought it came out pretty good. So... Here we go. Okay, uh, so Rob at Motor asks, um, so what is holding it up, the killer clown, like a mannequin? It's a, it's yeah, it's legit a mannequin body in there under the costume. It's a mannequin body, and I took the head of the mannequin off, so it's the, up to the neck, and then I've got the mask on the neck. So that's how it is. But it's a legit body under there. It's a mannequin under there. Yeah. Max says, how long are you keeping this live stream? As long as you guys can bear to stay with me. When I just see it, when I'm down to like two, two viewers, we'll, we'll call it. Usually I do it for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Theo um, Lalas, excuse me if I mispronounce, which Myers mask is your favorite? I like the two uh, Curse of Michael Myers that I have. The Curse of Michael Myers is the... Uh, my favorite. Okay, I've got a question for you guys. Um, let's see. I just uh, what is a movie, Mike? I'll get right to your question. Let me get this out real quick. What is a movie that Scream, neither Scream Factory or Arrow Video has released that you want to see released? I'll tell you mine right now, and it's a travesty that it hasn't gotten its own release. I want a Return of the Living Dead Part 2 Scream Factory release because I think they would do a great job on it. Um, so what is a movie you guys want to see get released from either one of those companies that has not? Uh, um, so now Mike O asks, so what you got? You guys tell me because I'm interested to know about it because we need to try to make this stuff happen. In this day and age, we can contact these companies to work on it. Um, Mike says, what horror franchise do you think is underrated? I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Um, I'll get back on that. Don't worry. Uh, so to, to, to the question I asked, oh, we've actually got, we've actually got, a, uh, we've actually got some people saying stuff. Uh, Count wants Critters too. That would be great. Uh, now Count, the first Critters didn't go to theaters, right? But it sold so well on home video or something that the second one did, if I understood correctly. My go says Scream Factory's it on Scream, Stephen, Scream Factory's it. Stephen King's it on Screen Factory. That would be excellent. That would be excellent. Once Cujo, that would be great too. It's kind of surprising that it hasn't that hasn't been uh that hasn't had one. Uh, Monster Shark. I don't think I've ever seen Monster Shark. Matt says a Nightmare on Elm Street and or Friday the Thirteenth should have a Screen Factory release. That'd be cool too. I'll take I take that.
Code Red is supposed to be releasing Monster Shark. I'd, I'd be down with that. I've never seen Monster Shark, so... A Nightmare Elm Street would be dope. It would be, but, um... I just don't see that happening. Yeah, Count, I think that Critters was a home video, straight to video deal, but the second, it got so popular that the second actually got a theatrical release, if I remember correctly. If I remember correctly. Any of y'all remember these things? These are, these are the things you get at Spirit Halloween uh, at like the counter. I've had these suckers for a long time. I think he's dead. Yeah. Let's see if this one works. This is a Frankenstein one. That one works. And then I've got, let's see if this works. The Scarecrow Scream. Um, Child's Play 2 would be cool. That would be a good one. Horror Bro says, if you're a fan of cheesy shark films, watch Monster Shark. It's awesome. That does sound, that does sound like it would be a good one to do. Um, Max says, I heard there's going to be a part two of Freddy vs. Jason. Uh, I, don't, I don't see that happening. I really don't. Count says, Critters 2 is the first one I've ever seen as a little child since it's my favorite. Well, they, they, that's like the fan favorite, I think, too, the second one. Horror Bro says, did you get the Troll 2 vinyl set? No, I, I want it, though. Actually, I want the cassette of it. Mike says, Freddy vs. Jason would be ground screen cracker. It would be. I'd like to get a, a new retrospective. Michael Voorhees fan. I love the name, Michael Voorhees. 1982 says, have you ever painted a Jason Hockey mask? No, I have no artistic ability whatsoever. I can play music. That's about it. That's my artistic ability. God, those things are good. Um, so I started diving into the Reanimator Arrow video release, which is probably the best release Arrow video has put out. The documentary in Har for it is in in it's impeccable. It's so long and in depth. Everybody's in it. Everybody from the movie was in it. Um, let's see. Have you ever, this is from Rob Mulder, have you ever seen Street Trash and do you like it? I don't think I've ever seen that. I don't think I have, no. I've heard of it, but never seen it. I need to now. Um, I go back and I look at these comments and stuff that y'all say, I'll, I'll, I'll go and I'll look at it. That's how I ended up watching Night of the Comet. One of y'all had mentioned it to me, and I was like, well, I've heard of that, but I've never watched it. CJ says, do you have the NECA cult classic Michael Myers sheeted? Uh... No, I have a mo movie maniacs right here to my um, immediate right. Uh, my, uh, movie maniacs Halloween Michael Myers from '99 McFarlane Toys, and uh, the box is in really good condition. Uh, Max asked me how long have I been collecting horror things. I would say since 2011. 2011, so six years. Six years. Um, yeah. Uh, Max, uh, not Max, Horror Bro 1990, uh, Contamination. I think I have that. Does that look familiar? Yeah, got that. Evil Ed is my favorite uh, Arrow movie that they've put out. But Vamp was good too, that movie Vamp. Uh, Michael Voorhees says, uh, do you know that one of your videos has over 1 million views? Yeah, my Chucky video, and everybody hates him. Hates him. I've gotten death threats over that video, I swear. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me really much. Um, so, um, let's see. Okay. Here's a question. Okay, I'll, I'll get to my question later. Uh, Count says, how do you feel about Ash versus Evil Dead? I enjoyed the first season. Um, oh, Mike brings up a question. I've got I've to talk to y'all about Some of y'all might be a little disappointed with me. 
Um, but I, I mean, I'll get to that in a second. Um, I love the first season of Ash versus Evil Dead. I'm ready to get to season two. I don't have the channel. I don't pay for that HBO channel, whatever it's on Showtime. Uh, so I just get the seasons when I come out on a home video, and I love the first season. Uh, Mike O asked, how is the VHS room going? <sighs> I ended up sticking a lot of musical equipment in there, but um, I still plan on making it a music VHS dungeon. I really do. It's just taking me time, guys. It really is. Uh, did a lot of work on the house. Still working on the house. So, and my, my work schedule is somewhat getting normal again, so I know when I'm off and I can plan to work on things. So it's coming slow, but it's still coming. Don't worry. It's still I've got posters in there and stuff. It's not worth showing to you guys right now because it's 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 far from finished. It's gonna be a long road. But um, you know, we're, I'm I'm mostly focusing on my horror room still, and and um, that's really it. So oh, I still I still want to make this horror room better. I still feel like I can, you know. But I like how it's not cluttered up. Everything is neat. It's not really cluttered. It's still neat. So. Um, ever heard, this is from Horror Bro, ever hear of the three unofficial Evil Dead films, Scream Factory? No, I'm, I don't know anything about that. Theo asks, thoughts on the new movie Leatherface? I haven't seen it, so I'll let you know when I see it. Max asked me if I watched The Conjuring. I have watched The Conjuring. I liked it. It's pretty good. Count Find Strange says, you need a jailbroke fire stick. I'll take one. Michael Voorhees says, why did you get death threats over that video? That's crazy. Because I was so happy, and I was like, this is so awesome, this is so awesome. Everybody was like, shut up. Quit bragging. You sound so stupid. Blah, blah, blah. Go kill yourself. I, <laughs> Who made your uh, Puppet Master full-scale figures? Those are from Full Moon Direct. Like, that is from Full Moon. All those right there, those are all from Full Moon. Uh, Charles Band himself, his company made made those. He sells them. Um, Max Tello asks, "Have you seen Smiley?" No, I have not. That movie's been out for quite some time, right? I've, no, I've never seen that. I don't know that I ever will. But um, I watched a decent movie. Um, I watched a decent movie on Amazon a while back called Hell House, which is pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. Do you own any trauma movies on VHS? I have one. No, I don't own any trauma. I've seen much trauma. I have seen the Crusader movie, the Toxic Crusader. Really, my thing. Um, I'm not really into bad, terrible B action movies. Not that I'm saying that is, but it kind of falls in that. Kind of falls in that category to me a little bit. Um, but not just not a big trauma fan. Um, Michael Voorhees says, you made that F13 Part 5 promotional lamp yourself, right? Yeah, I saw a video of one before, and I thought it was so cool, and it is so impossible to get your hands on it, that me sitting my grandpa went to work and made that. So, uh, I can turn it on if you want. You want to see it, you want to see it turned on? Let's let's turn it on because I don't know if I've ever I've ever even shown that before. It's been so long, I don't know if it even works anymore. All right, here we go. Oh, it works. You set, you set this right here. That's pretty cool, huh? Oh, it's so bright you can't even tell what it is. Oh, well, let me turn the lights off. You ready? That's even worse. Oh well, it looks really cool in person. It is not. It is not that bright in person. Like you can make sense of it completely in in here, but this camera just picks the light up so harshly that it just looks like a magma. Uh, uh, you should make a. Oh wait up. 
Josh asks, where did you get the Tar Man bus? Uh, like I said before, that was from a company named Raging Zombie, which is no longer in, in production anymore. The guy stopped making them. Uh, Max says, you should make a horror movie theater room. Yeah, I got made fun of because my TV is so small in here, so I guess I do need to. It's not really a big room, though. Like, the TV is not tiny. It's not like you can you can, you can enjoy a movie in here easily. Your TV is too small. Maybe it is. I don't need a big-ass TV in here. That's not what this room is about. This room is, like, just to, to me, like an enjoyment of... It's like a... You enjoy the visuals, you know? Um... Count asks, uh, what is the rarest DVD VHS that you have? Oh, nothing. I don't think I have any rare. It's laser discs that I have that are rare. I've got some really rare copies of stuff on laser discs. But as far as DVD or or or, or um, VHS, I don't think I have anything rare. I swear to God, I really don't. Yeah, I don't have anything rare. I mean, any everything I've got, you can get your hands on for probably relatively easy. Like, I'm looking right now. No, I don't think I have anything rare. I really don't. Um, what are your top five bands? Oh, okay. Blue Oyster Cult, Alice Cooper, Motorhead, um, Huey Lewis in the News, and number five would probably be I probably say like Marilyn Manson. I really like him a lot, especially the newer Marilyn Manson. But it's hard to see. Blue Oyster Cult is probably it really. I got, I was I'm I'm still diehard Alice Cooper, but Blue Oyster Cult strikes my nerves perfectly. Like I really think Blue Oyster Cult is probably my favorite band in the world. Um, what are your thoughts on contamination? Uh, I thought it was okay. It just really wasn't my cup of tea. wasn't bad. wasn't just uh, I got through it. Um, just not really into those alien type of sci-fi stuff. I don't know. I I just like a movie or I don't. I don't want to say that. I'm not into this. I'm into that. I it just it didn't strike a chord with me. Um, Josh asked me, "What is the most rare thing you have in your horror collection?" Rare. Well, I got a couple things. First off, like for instance, the Gemi leather, uh, the Gemi uh, animatronic Freddy Krueger was the first horror Gemi that, the uh, first horror animatronic Gemi put out. That was in 06. That's not in production anymore. Um, that Big Ben, right there. I have to point kind of in the opposite direction when I when I do the camera because I'm not actually pointing to it right now, but on camera it looks like I'm. That Big Ben is probably one of the rare in the sense that Sam McCain, who made it. Sadly, had a motorcycle accident. Um, maybe a little less than a year after I bought, got it from him. So you can't you can't get that anymore. Rest in peace, Sam McCain, one of the most talented guys I'd ever seen. I mean, look at that; it's incredible work. Um, what else is rare? Um, like a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff you can't. You like right here. Let me see. I'll let you guys see right here. This life size Michael Myers. That is the. Uh, H2O version, they don't make that no more. I don't think Gemi even makes animatronics anymore. Same thing, the uh, Jason Voorhees, they don't make that no more. Um, my Halloween 3 masks, two of them from a company that aren't made anymore. Like a lot of stuff, like a lot of it honestly is rare because I got stuff right like before they stopped making them. Um, have you ever played any horror video games? Rest in peace, Lemmy. God bless Lemmy. He's one of the greatest. Yes, I have played some horror video games. Um, uh, Little Nightmares. I just was playing that. That was pretty cool. Count says, I love BOC. Dude, they really are my favorite bands. Imaginos is one of the best albums in the world. Not a fan of any modern bands. That's not true. Like I said, I love Mance and Mance still makes music. I guess because Mance has been around, so I guess he's not modern. I like Ghost a lot. I really like Ghost.
I really like Ghost a lot, and um. I don't know, I try to find new stuff often, but sometimes I, I'm stubborn and I'll just listen to Blue Oyster Cult all day. How are you handling George Romero's death? Um, just, I, I guess, I mean, I'm sad. It's a shame, but I mean, look, we're all going to die. Not to sound too depressed, but we're all going to die one day. So we really need to enjoy every day we have, you know, and, and I'd like to say that George did because every time I saw him at Texas Frightmare, he was so happy shaking everybody's hand he was a fan of people it seemed like george was a fan of people he loved everybody he met he just seemed like a genuine guy he really did so it's sad but you know george did what he wanted to do and he went out his way so max says uh what is your favorite horror video i mean like horror movie uh halloween three season of the witch Always has been. Which how this is from Horror Bro. Which version of Halloween Six do you prefer? Producers cut all the way, man. I love it. I love the thorn thing. It's just creepy as hell to me. It really is. Is the mask removal on a life size gimme, Michael? It is not. No, that is it. Which the mask is is part of the head. Uh, Led Zeppelin is my all time favorite band from Camp on Strange. It's one of the greatest bands in the world, man. Uh, favorite Blue Oyster Cult song from Theo Lawless. Um, honestly, my favorite Blue Oyster Cult song is probably, wow, that is tough. <sighs> Shooting Shark is excellent. Cities on Flame with Rock and Roll. See, this is, Blue Oyster Cult is so much more than Don't Fear the Reaper, Burning for You, and Godzilla. Um. I really, really, really enjoy um, In the Presence of Another World. Like I said, um, the Imaginist record is incredible. I love I love um, Make Rock Not War, um, Dancing in the Ruins. Just great music. Um, Dr. Music is great. Um, just so much good stuff. Uh, Perfect Water. I love the Club Ninja record is fabulous. Club Ninja is fabulous. Um, what is y'all's favorite Blue Oyster Cult song? If you if you're fans as well, I love Blue Oyster Cult. Blue Oyster Cult is to me is a horror rock band. They're not. They're kind of sci-fi, but I still I still can put that with them. Uh, in a sense, I don't know. Uh. Run D pants says, enjoy your life, please. Yes, I, I do, and I hope we all do. Count says he's he's going to see Ozzy on the 21st. Uh, well, let me read that again. On the 21st, I'll be seeing Ozzy sing Bark at the Moon during a full eclipse. There you go. That's cool. Uh, got Ozzy's another great. Um, Horror Bro asked me if I could say one good thing about Hall Resur Halloween Resurrection, what would it be? Um... I really don't have a problem with the film. I just, you know, the whole Buster Rhymes. Uh, I if Buster Rhymes would have just shoved him like like a man would. I would have took it, but like the fact that he went, he screamed like a karate. He screamed like a. He screamed and went yeah and kicked him. I was like, come on. Like you, I can't. I, I'm just trying to picture like that happening on film and, and the, the director. Who directed the second horror, the second Halloween, which was great. I, I, I'm, I'm just trying to visualize him saying, cut, print, I liked it. Like, I just can't see it. Have you heard of the new Cult of Chucky? Yeah, I'm excited. Josh says, what is the worst horror movie you, ever, you have ever seen? Troll 2, but at the same time, it's the best horror movie I've ever seen. Uh, Seeking Bigfoot asks, do you like uh, Guillermo? Guillermo? I don't have, I can't do the little... Guillermo del Toro flicks, not really. I'm not not into him. Um, Horror Bro 1990 says, "What is your favorite Shout Factory release?" Um, I'm looking at him right now. Probably Return of the Living Dead. They really kicked ass on that. On Return of the Living Dead. Uh, thoughts on Black Sabbath? You know, it's funny. I need to start dipping into the uh, post Ozzy Black Sabbath. Um, I need to start looking into that because I'd be interested to see. Uh, how that sounded. I've never heard anything post Black Sabbath with a uh, post Ozzy, so I'm gonna check that out. 
Uh, Michael Voorhees fan says, I can't wait until October for Friday the 13th. Always watch the marathons on TV, even though I own the film. Sometimes it's just better more. So it really is better to watch it on TV. Like, it, it's not this. It's different, you know. Count says the birth of metal. Damn right, dude. Sabbath really was, you know. Uh, Max says, when do you start live streaming? It's sporadic. I mean, I never, t I never usually even say anything. It's just, you know, I'll just start. Horror Brothers says, do you have Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 Blu-ray? Yeah, I've got the Screen Factory over there. I've got uh, Screen Factory Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. Yep, I'm looking at it right now. Great release. They kicked ass on it. Uh, Count says he didn't like Sabbath video. I'll have to check that out. I know that, that, that Sabbath and, and Blue Oyster Cult had a famous tour everybody talked about in the one called the Black and Blue Tour, and uh, that was with Dio. About that. Uh, Josh asked me what's my favorite Arrow release. The Scarlet Box set from Hellraiser. It's the coolest thing. No, I take that back. Probably the Reanimator because they did a. I'm telling you, they really kicked ass. They did a fabulous job with it. So I really do like the the um, Reanimator uh, Arrow release. I mean, it really is good. Max says you should do a live stream on playing horror games. I wouldn't mind doing one playing Friday the Thirteenth because it's really the only a horror game I. I play, but uh, I get burnt out on it pretty quick. I love playing it, but like I feel like I'm bad. Like I'll I'll try to like get the car started and everything for a round or two, but then I'll start hunting as a counselor. I'll just go hunt Jason down myself, and then I'll fight him, and then end up dying. Um, a uh, horror bro asked, uh, "Do you have you seen any Bruno Mattei films? If I have, I didn't realize it. I'm not sure." Um, Josh says, "Do, do you watch AMC Fear Fest or are you on TV?" You damn right, and I DVR them all. If I'm not home, I'm gonna I'm gonna catch up. Seeking Bigfoot asked, "Is there any Japanese horror movies?" I like, yeah, there's an Arrow video. Now, this is bad because I could just be uh, oh, I could be saying this is Japanese, and it may be it may be Chinese or whatnot. Uh, Arrow released a movie called um, Dark Water that was pretty good. So. Max says, bye, Christian. Be good, brother. Uh, thanks for thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. He made Jaws 5s, a.k.a. Cruel Jaws. I've never seen that, but I need to. Uh, Michael Voorhees fan says, do you have any reptiles as a pet? No, I do not. I'm not a fan of reptiles. I don't like snakes or anything like that. Oh, can't do it. Um, Michael says, do you think Rob Zombie's Halloween movies are that bad? I love them. No, I don't think they're that bad at all. They're just different. You know, do I prefer... Rob's over the originals? No, but you know, at the end of the day, they're all just movies. You know, I try not to get too bent out of shape about something. I don't. I try not to go on a on a on a on a, a rant spree about it. You know, they're just movies. Um, Christopher Warner says, "Where did you get the Atari Twenty Six Hundred Halloween game?" eBay. Uh, Max says, "JK still here." Well, I'm glad you're here. Um, what are you going as for Halloween? Asked Josh. I don't think I'm going to go as anything. Um, I'm hoping where I live now I actually have some trick-or-treaters, so that'll be that'll be my, my biggest thing. I'd love to hand out some candy to kids and stuff. Um, did you buy the Jaws Blu-ray sequels as Harbro? Yeah, they're, they're all down there in my main shelf. I've got all of them, so uh, love Jaws. Always have, always will. I'm at the L. Uh, um, Michael Voorhees fan says he does not like H2 2009. It was different. I prefer the, uh, it's funny, I prefer his, uh, uh, Rob's number two more than his number one. Seeking Bigfoot asks, do you watch, uh, Korean horror? Pretty grotesque and dramatic. I, I don't think I've ever seen one. Um, not up top of my, my mind. I of watching movies with subtitles for the simple fact that it's just so hard for me to concentrate on. The, I'll just be reading and I'll, I'll, I'll miss. I just feel like I miss the the movie itself. Harbro wants to know which horror movie from the 80s had the best special effects. Oh, to me, I'd have to go with The Thing. I really think The Thing was the best. That movie was just horrifying so I like that one a lot 
So I really like the thing. To me, the thing is John's best movie. Um, I know that may rub people the wrong way, but as good as Halloween is one of the greatest home movies in the world. But I think that the thing was John's best movie. So good. So good. So yeah, I do like the thing a lot. Trying to see what else. Oh well. Um, I'm ready for um for NECA to release. They're supposed to be doing the leather Le Texas Chainsaw Massacre three Leatherface. So I'm ready for that. Count says the thing is great. The thing really is great. It's a great movie, man. It really is. Uh, Josh wants to know what era of horror was my favorite. What, what era of horror is y'all's favorite? I want to know. Mine is like, if I could give you a time frame, 76 to about 92. 76 to about 92. That was like the best years for horror, I think. I really do. Kurt Russell is the man, too. you damn right he is. Uh, Theo says, what Loomis do you prefer, Pleasance or McDowell? Because I've heard people, I've heard people who prefer McDowell. Um, like I said, I liked McDowell in part two, but I mean, come on. I mean, uh, Let's be real. Donald was the greatest. Donald's the best. Horace says, The Thing and Halloween are his favorite Carpenter films. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, Count says, 80s and early 90s for me. Yeah, it really is the best. Uh, Horror Hound says, Not related, but have you ever watched Duckman, 90s cartoon? Got all the episodes on DVD. One of the best animated. I have not. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, Donald Pleasance for sure, man. So, yeah, it's great stuff. Max says, Christian, I think of you as a best friend. Well, that's good. I'm glad I can be a friend to you, Max. I don't remember ever talking to you before, but, you know, that's okay. I'll be your friend. That's what I'm here for. So tell, we're all friends. So, um, guys, tell you what. Here's my question. Who's ready for Spirit Halloween? Who is ready for Spirit Halloween? I know I am. You know, I, I don't know. I might. I don't know if I'm gonna dress up. I just, you know, I don't enjoy dressing up, but I love Halloween so much. So I am ready for Spirit Halloween to open up. I think it's gonna be great. But um, I think I'm gonna watch Reanimator tonight. I'm gonna redo that documentary because I really I fell asleep on it pretty hard last night. So I'm probably gonna try to sit through, get through that again to enjoy that and um. Watch Reanimator. Man, that release is great. They did, they did a great job on that. So. But, guys, I'll tell you what. This has been an excellent live stream. And I don't want it to go on too long before we all just get bored. So, to enjoy your night. And um, Christian, Hour, Christian Hannah Horror will be back. Um, let me answer a couple more questions real quick. Because I got just a couple more. Um, Horror Bros says, I love the mask they have. I got my Halloween 2 trick-or-treat studio mask there. Good, yeah, your spirit's good. Seems like they're starting to get some trick-or-treat stuff, which is excellent. Count says, apart from the Nightmare on Street franchise, what do you think Craven's best film was? Shocker. I like Shocker a lot. I do. But I don't know if that was his best. Yeah, I'll go with Shocker, because I like Shocker a lot. Even though it's kind of like Nightmare on Elm Street. So. Who do you think is the master of horror? John Carpenter. Absolutely, he is the master of horror. People Under Stairs, that's what I really wanted to say. That was a good movie. Alright, guys, but for real, love y'all. This has been so fun. Y'all go enjoy your night. Um, I don't want to keep y'all too long. And like I said, I don't want to get. I don't want everybody to start getting bored. Get up and start moving around. But I had a blast. This was fun. And uh, we will always come back and do this. You never, you never know when Christian Hunter Horror is going to pop up. And that's the beauty of these live streams. So um, uh, I'm trying to make some more videos this week. Um, so that's about it. So Christian Hunter Horror, thank you guys so much for joining with us. If you can't, if you missed this one, you're watching this later. Um, there's always be on the lookout, Christian Hunter Horror. I usually always do them about the same time, 11 o'clock at night central. So, all right, y'all be good. Thank y'all, and Christian Hannah Horror will see y'all next time.